Hi, my name's Ananda Rose Bennett. I'm 30 years old and I live in Greensboro, North Carolina. I'm also a quadriplegic, which means I can't move my, any of my limbs. I'm making this video in an effort to raise the funds to purchase a wheelchair accessible vehicle. My goal is to purchase a reliable mode of transportation for me and Sean, who is my boyfriend and caretaker. Hi, I'm Sean. The vehicle we'd like to purchase is called an MV1. It costs $42,000. Unlike other wheelchair accessible vehicles that are converted from regular vans, the MV1 is specifically manufactured for wheelchair accessibility. As a child, my life was pretty normal. I went to school, played sports, made artwork, wrote stories, went to the movies, hung out with my family, we had two dogs and lived in an apartment. I was obs as obsessed with Hello Kitty as I am now. I had a stroke on January 7th, 2000. I was 11 years old. It was a Friday. After that, school nor anything else was ever the same. Everything was harder. I was embarrassed about every part of my life and school was probably the worst. Everything I did or didn't do brought even more attention to myself. And I just wanted to be normal. But I wasn't and I would never be. It took me years to realize that and be okay with it. And somewhere I decided to embrace it. Recently, on March 1st, one of my best friends was killed. She was 26. She was getting into a tow truck on the side of the highway when she was hit by a semi-truck at 80 miles an hour. India's death reminded me how short life is. <clears throat> and that I can't wait for opportunities to find me. I have to be an active participant in every aspect of my life. There was also a point where I didn't think I would be able to go to my friend's memorial due to the distance of where it was out of town. But her generous and loving family helped me get there by paying $800 to a wheelchair taxi to transport me to the memorial service. In my free time, I like to watch TV, play video games, write haikus, create digital art using a quad stick, and play board games at home. I also like going out to eat, going to the movies, love going to concerts, museums, art galleries, and hanging out with our friends. Unfortunately, doing these activities are very challenging if not impossible, a lot of the time. Having our own transportation will change our lives so much. I would also really like to go visit my family. My mama and my grandparents live about 30 minutes away. That's usually where we celebrate our holidays. But we haven't been able to go the past few years because no one can afford the handicapped taxi to get us there. We currently use a local bus service to go places. It is very limited in its schedule. Um, I can't go outside my city limits for medical appointments. I can't go seek doctors in other areas. What about um, how long does it take usually to get anywhere? Um, okay. There's no telling. 
So the bus is supposed to pick us up at 8. It's now 8.45. Hi. Sean is my boyfriend, my best friend, my soulmate, and my main caregiver. Sean and I have been together for 11 years. He's the sweetest and calmest man I know. Since we started talking, Sean agreed to learn the things we needed to in order for us to be alone. He knows what I'm thinking and what I'm going to say before I say it. Sean is almost everything for me, and I wish I was exaggerating. He cooks for me, he feeds me, he helps me drink water every 30 minutes, he gives me my medicine, he'll help me get in and out of bed or my wheelchair. He literally helps me live. He gives me the kind of love, compassion, and security that I didn't think existed. I don't know what I would do without him. So it would mean the world to me, Sean, and my family if you were able to donate to my fundraiser. But if you aren't and you would still like to help, please share this video. Thank you so much for listening to my story. I really appreciate your time.